Hi. A few weeks ago, I decided to uh, start playing with DMR. Didn't have anything in the DMR radios here. Do have uh, System Fusion Yaesu radios. But uh, DMR seems to be a, a good option for a bit of a fiddle. So I did a bit of a Google search and found a uh, Bofang radio, an MD1702. Very, very cheap at $120 uh, Australian delivered. Did have a look at some of the reviews and they were a bit varied. Some quite good reviews, some not so good. So I decided I'd uh, try one anyway for that price. I was prepared to uh, gamble on the radio. I did find some uh, reports about the programming of the radio. And on the side cover of all your bow things, there you have the microphone and audio sockets, microphone and speaker sockets for your hand mic. One report was saying that's how you program this radio as well. And this micro USB port beside it did nothing. So I found that not to be the case. It actually do program through the micro USB, which uh, I plan to show you today. This radio is programmed already, but that's uh, fine. I'll uh, just switch him on. I'll, I'll take you through how I've done it. And there'll be a link to the software below in the uh, description as all good YouTubers point down. So we'll get started. As I said, the link will be in the description below. Just a matter of running it. I'm running uh, Windows 10, obviously. That bit of black screen was just the... Do you want to allow it to uh, change the settings? Which, of course, you have to allow. Fairly basic install. By default, I don't know why it's trying to put on the D because I don't have D on this computer. So I just browse to uh, C, put it under ham for ham software and click next and all the rest I just follow the defaults let it do its install and that is uh, completed close that you'll see it's got a uh, shortcut installed up the the top double click to run it and that's the software now as I said I haven't had it on the software on this computer but I have on my laptop as well as programmed the radio from my laptop so to start with I'll download the uh, configuration code plug whichever you prefer to call it onto this uh, version of the software so I can show you how I program it so it's just a simple matter of plugging the micro USB into the port radio can be on off makes no difference then if we uh, just go back up on here and click the read from radio brings up the dialog you ok it you can see how it's gone to PC program USB mode and it's reading the data from the radio no driver installs no COM ports to find the uh, software did it all itself found the radio and that's worked on uh, the laptop as well doesn't seem to worry about which port you plug it into, which USB port because this uh, lead is just a standard micro USB that comes with about 90% of uh, mobile phones I'll probably pause this bit of the video for the uh, progress bar and I'll be back okay we're done the uh, first screen that comes up we we'll just maximize that is the information screen which just gives you the model number, serial number, firmware, frequency range on uh, VFO A and B as well as the last program date which isn't of great interest at this stage but the one main one here which is a must do for all DMR radios is under the parameters you must uh, get a DMR radio ID link to your call sign which is very straightforward to do I'll also link down below the uh, radio ID 
a s website that you can uh, gain this ID from. It's a simple matter of going on, entering your call sign, uploading a, a copy of your license so it's they know it's a valid license. And I think it took about two hours and I had my uh, radio ID. After that, you can log on and uh, create more IDs for uh, multiple radios if you wish. It's only the first one that they uh, take the time to check your license. So after you get your ID, you enter it in the radio ID block up here. That's pretty much all you need to do on this one. I have entered radio aliases from a couple of my call signs, but it's uh, not very important to do. And there's nothing else on the screen that I've uh, changed. So I'll go out of there. With all your DMR radios, it all works on contacts and time groups and talk groups and all this. So on uh, my radio, you may wish to set it up differently. There may be better ways of doing it. But the way I've done it, with the uh, Bofang software at least, if you just click the add, this brings up another line where you can add a call alias. So you give it a, a name that you will remember. So I've just named it TG5 for talk group 5. Call type, it's a group call. The options there are private call, group call or all call. Private is more for uh, calling straight to a call sign and their DMR radio ID. So I'll leave that as a uh, group call and then the call ID is just 5 for talk group 5. You can add as many or as few of these as you like but you must have a contact for each talk group as far as I've uh, discovered. So once you've done all that we go to the RX group list again you just add an alias so I just called it all something I'll uh, know and when you first come into the screen all of these talk groups will just be over in this list here it's just a simple case of clicking on it and moving it across in the aliases so all these talk groups are under this all RX group list it'll become clearer later hopefully <laughs> when uh, I do the ac actual channel programming that's pretty much it on there the other thing you have to do is just on the zones I've only got the one zone on this radio I've called it Rocky it's my uh, location of Rockhampton and once you uh, do all your channels they'll all be listed here in, under this alias for the channel name you've given it it's the same uh, deal it's just a matter of clicking on the one you want then moving it left or right and obviously it's uh, VFOA or VFOB straightforward once you've uh, if you don't move them into here you won't be able to, it won't be accessible by changing the channels on the radio I've got them both the same because you know, I might want to listen to my hotspot or the local repeater or a different talk group or time slot so I've uh, just duplicated them again you can do it differently you could have multiple zones as well if you travel it out, out somewhere you can change it to uh, VK2 or something and have the uh, relevant frequencies and channels for that area so we'll get to the uh, channel edit list as I said I've already got the least channels programmed into this radio which I just downloaded as you just saw we go down to channel 6 the alias is just something that you're going to remember I've made it so it's uh, RMA which is short for VK4 RMA which is the local uh, multi node multi mode repeater the S1 I just got that as time slot 1 and G5 as talk group 5 some of the uh, other ones are forget how many characters but if you put VK4 RMS TG1 sorry TS1 TG5 it doesn't fit so that's why I sort of abbreviate it but still means something to me 
it's up to you which way you do that then you enter your uh, receive frequency just highlight it and type it in with the uh, keyboard and the TX frequency same highlight it type it in the keyboard the repeater here is uh, minus 7 megahertz offset which you uh, put in the TX if it was a simplex channel you just put the same frequency for RX and TX which I have done on my uh, hotspot channels next option down here that we're going to fiddle with is digital analog obviously DMR is digital so we select digital skipping all this stuff down to power level because it is a repeater I'm not that far from it but you know, if I'm uh, in the car or something I leave it or program it for a high power on my hotspot channels I use low power because I might be six foot away or fifty foot away from the hotspot so I don't need uh, to uh, burn up the final so on the hotspot channels as I said I use low but this is a repeater so I put it on high talk around we uh, won't worry about this is just to get you uh, started I think it's basically the, the equivalent of uh, reverse on uh, analog repeaters I could be wrong comments below if I am and that obviously we set digital here so our analog settings aren't accessible here our digital settings are first three options have not changed that's the way they came on the software the slot operation is the first one we need to change obviously I'm programming slot 1 for this channel so I've selected slot 1 options are slot 1 or slot 2 color code you have the option of 16 different color codes from 0 to 15 inclusive all VK uses color code 1 not sure about other countries you'll have to just uh, check and confirm that for yourself but yes uh, color code 1 encryption is not enabled I'm fairly sure it's not actually legal in just about every country now this TX contact name this is a drop down list of the contacts we created before so this obviously is for talk group 5 so I select the talk group 5 RX list is all so on time slot 1 with our repeater here it has talk group 5 and a second talk group which I'm not 100% sure it's uh, talk group 3809 or 3804 one or the other so if someone talks in either talk group on time slot 1 I will hear them but then I have to change channels to the other talk group if I want to talk to them on uh, 3809 or 5 so you need a channel for each talk group time slot but you have the uh, ability to uh, receive any incoming call and that's uh, pretty much it on that channel edit just going through it again very quickly a channel alias so it's something that you know that you recognize that uh, that's the one you want receive frequency TX frequency the digital channel type high power if you're going to be away from the, the receiving station first three boxes not uh, changed from standard time slot we're to doing uh, time slot 1 on this channel color code 1 for all VK contact name the talk group that you want on this channel and the receive group you want on this channel and that's it guys that goes that's all the uh, channel edit you go to this one this is a list of all the channels that I have in this radio it's only 14 of them you can see the top one I've put HS as hotspot S1 is time slot 1, G is talk group 143 with the uh, RX and TX frequencies being simplex, they're the same. All receive uh, group list is all, low power, digital. Then if you click on the more, it just takes you to this the other edit window that we we're here before. But you can also slide down here and uh, change or edit whichever one you like. 
that's about it for uh, that one once you've done all of that it's just a matter of clicking the, the right to radio button again just brings up the dialog to uh, OK radio switches into programming mode automatically you have a uh, flashing red LED on top to indicate that it is actually reading or being written to and again I'll uh, pause the video for this uh, progress bar OK radio is rebooted and we're ready to go we can uh, remove the USB cable now we don't require that anymore put the little cover back on and that's it you can see here the uh, channels are in there the one that we just programmed you know, there's actually people uh, in the area kachunking or actually uh, anyway, talking uh, you can see it comes up with the talk group you're on the channel you're on and their DMR ID which is uh, fairly straightforward if you have that ID in your contacts list it uh, comes up with a call sign rather than that I think there are other options about populating it with a call sign but I'm not too worried about that and that's about it the uh, radio itself the only fault I have found is in the volume it's um, a bit dicey if it's not on a channel it's actually receiving we go to the uh, hotspot channels or somewhere else we're not going to be receiving any uh, things so I can show you what's happening yeah when you turn the volume it's it's not real nice you can get a spot where it'll flick backwards and forwards between the two levels and yeah that's about the only issue I've had with this radio battery life is good it's not overly large had uh, good reports on audio quality as well as uh, have been mobile just for handheld in the car and been making the repeater no problems at all the repeater is in a good position here but yeah it's a uh, quite good radio I would uh, wouldn't say not to buy one I'm quite happy with it they are cheap there are better ones out there but for what I wanted it's uh, a very good starting point I also bought a uh, jumbo spot with this radio too so if there's enough uh, people want to see how to set that up I can do that but there are quite a lot of uh, videos already on YouTube uh, setting up the jumbo spots and very very good and simple to follow ones so that's about it I'll uh, catch everybody later